Kourtney Kardashian was at the center of all the drama on last night's season 15 premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which was expected considering she was causing drama before the show even premiered. It's time to break down everything that went down with Courtney from what she did before Keeping Up aired to a recap of what went down with her on the premiere. How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. I know you all love the Car Jenner sisters, so I'll catch you up on everything that went down right now. Before we get into last night's episode, we've got to break down what happened before it aired. As you all know, we had an inkling that Courtney's bad attitude would be put on display this season thanks to the previews that dropped last week where Chloe and Kim called her out for it. Although we were right about that, we're not getting into last night's episode just yet. Over the weekend before the first episode even had a chance to premiere, Courtney posted a cryptic and passive aggressive message on her Snapchat. It's a picture from what appears to be some sort of daily devotional book and highlighted a key phrase, saying, be quick to listen, slow to respond, and slow to become angry. Clearly, this is a message for her two younger sisters who have been calling her out on her attitude when necessary, whether they come off angry or not. On top of that, although we already had a feeling that Chloe and Courtney's relationship was on the outs because Chloe appears closer with Kim this season, that was confirmed prior to the premiere when Courtney spoke to E and revealed she's is also closer with another sister these days. Courtney told E quote, Kendall, because we're just like really best friends. We're on the same wavelength. We have good conversations. We have fun together. There's no drama with us. Now, while there's no drama with them, clearly Courtney has drama with her other sisters, and we finally got to see that whole Christmas card feud play out on last night's episode. Plus, if that wasn't enough to handle, Scott alluded to the fact that he might not totally be over Courtney. Yeah, see why I told you Courtney was at the center of everything last night? First, the photo shoot fiasco. Essentially, we saw what the previews already showed us. Courtney and Kim arguing over the family photo shoot time because Kim changed it to accommodate her schedule, while the change affected Courtney's ability to do some routine motherly duties for her children. After the explosive fight where Kim tells Courtney she's the least interesting to look at, we finally see the two try and resolve the problem. Courtney comes to have a sit down with Kim and it gets emotional. She essentially tells Kim she's worried about the legacy she's leaving for her children, she doesn't want them to grow up materialistic, and she feels judged by her and Chloe. Oh, and how she wants to move away. The two continued their argument on Twitter last night as well. And anyway, the photo shoot debacle eventually works itself out because Kim changes the time to accommodate Courtney. And although Courtney made one last passive aggressive play at the end of the episode when she did not attend Kim's baby shower, the two took to Twitter to maintain they will always have one another's back. Finishing up this Courtney-inspired recap with what Scott Disick had to say about her, because why wouldn't we? During last night's episode, Scott talked about his relationship with Sophia, although he did not name her. He opened up about how she's the only other girl he's been serious with besides Courtney, and that him and Courtney could potentially get married in the future, as they made a pact to do so when they hit their 40s. Were you able to keep up with all that? Let me know all your thoughts on what Courtney did before the premiere of Keeping Up and how she was on the show down there in the comments. For more on Courtney, check out our story on her major Photoshop fail. And for more Car Jenner news, subscribe now.